going like, hey, I hope you can hear me. We shut everything down and try it again. So, I, whoops, I hope you can hear me now. N-O-W's now. That's going to take them a while. Hi, Susan. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to my IT man, Mr. Mark. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without him. I don't know what I would do without him. So, okay. So, while everybody's coming in all, they said thank you, Mark. No. Hi, Lady Di. Hi, sweetheart. So good to see you. Yay. I have no idea what happened, but we just started the whole thing over. So now I'm going to tell you about my dyed fabrics. Because remember I said I love doing fabric dyeing. So I thought I would show you, and I'll try to remember how I did each one so you'll see. It is so good to see you. I know we probably lost a lot of people, and I'm sorry. But sometimes when that happens, you just have to start all over again. Because he checked the camera. Everything was fine with the camera. Here is a dye that I did by scrunching. Can you tell? And you know what's funny? I love these so much. Ah, that's probably what it was. You're probably right. Because I've noticed a couple times the screen freezes. But I need to use these. I'm so tickled with dye, the dye process that I keep them in a bag. But they're not doing any good in a bag. And I can always make more. I know how to do it. <laughs> then, remember I told you that we did... Batik dyeing. Here is the batik work. So I made some stamps. And all I did was I got foam and kind of carved the stamps and glued them to a wood block. Easy. And remember I told you that mashed potato, a potato masher, and stamps that I made myself. See how I just carved Took an X-Acto knife and carved out the stamps. And then co covered it with dye. So. Ta -da. So. And I'm going to make you a video on dyeing. Do not worry. So. Oh, thank you. That's right. Because this will come out as a whole second video. So now. That was the batik. And I've got more batik. Don't worry, I've got all kinds of things. Remember how I told you that I did the um, I did the dyeing on shaving cream and did marble dyeing? Well, here is a piece of that. Can you see the marbling that stuck to the fabric? So that's a piece of my marbled fabric. Then, here's another piece of batik. And you see, I started with yellow dyeing, batiked over, did the wax resist on that, and then did red and orange, did a lot of different colors over it. But so those are just, this is the potato masher. Look, I even found something to do dots with the wax. And I like to use soy wax, soy, S-O-Y wax, because it's less likely to flame up, get too hot. And what I did is I had an electric, an old electric skillet that I don't use for anything else and just heated the wax up in that and dipped my implements in it. You know, you dye whatever color you want. Then you stamp the batik on it. It holds that dye in that place. And then you dye another color, and then you stamp some of that. You keep doing that, and then you rinse it out in good hot water. Yes, more soy wax, less paraffin, or all soy wax. Here is some more marbling fabric. Now, look, see, this is the back. 
but see how the die sticks on the front when you do it. And then, yes, this is marbling. You can see up kind of close some of the movements. See the marbling? So this is so much fun. Just go to um, Dharma Trading. Get yourself some PDF prepared, wait, PFD prepared for dyeing fabric. And I prefer to get their dyes. You can use RIT dye, but it's just not going to, it maybe is a cheap, easy way to start, but it's not the best dyes. Now this, let me check real quick. Yeah, this is more marbling. Because you can always tell because you'll get, you can see some of the streaks in it and the swirls. So, here's this. And, but it was so much fun. I had about five, six ladies. And we had tables set up everywhere. And we had such fun. This is more marbling. I did like that marbling, didn't I? And these have all been, they're all set. They, I took first and used, um, soaked them in soda ash water. And then did the dyeing. Then took and put them in baggies or a container. And put them out on the hot driveway, the warm driveway, for the colors to set. And then in 24 hours, I rinsed them till the water ran clear and then washed them. And it's very easy. This is more marbling, as you can tell. I don't know if I'm showing you the right side or not. They're a lot brighter than they're looking on camera. But what I want to try... Is it, when I read the book, I, I, I want to do this thing where you dye all the bait, all the increments. You know, you start with certain colors and then you do all these different steps. Boy, I did a lot of that marbling. I guess I wanted to use up. Some of my colors look a little muddy because I, I didn't, I was too cheap to get new shaving cream each time. So I just kept putting more colors on top of it. All right, I think there's one more piece of marbling, and then I'll show you the ice dyeing. That's a lot of fun and so easy, ladies. Okay. Yeah, this is another marbling. Here is ice dyeing. Now, there's different ways you can do. If you want, if you can, you can tell it's, or is this rock? No, this is salt. This is salt dyeing. Salt effect dyeing. And what I did is I gathered up my fabric. And then I gathered it like this. Laid it there. And poured dye in stripes over it. Soaked it in stripes. And then to get, let me show you the effect that putting salt on it makes it like gets these little bursts where the salt kind of spritzes off the um it, it makes these little circle effects on the on the dye. But this I love rainbows. I love bright bright fabrics. So this is this. And this was just scrunched in a long piece and then doing the stripes. Here is ice dyeing. So, and this, all I did, all I did was scrunch up the fabric like this, put it on the piece of mesh, metal mesh, put the ice on top of it, and then pour the dye over that. And just let it sit. And as the ice melts, it deposits, it deposits the dye in these random colors. So, then 
these are my less successful, I think. But, I mean, all this fabric can be used. But I did, I tried all kinds of different weird stuff. And if a little dye spilt, I would rush over and put some fabric on it. But I would very much like, yeah, this is the marbling because you can see. But I really want to try doing some graduated colors. And there's a way to do it that I did a lot of marbling. I've got to, I've got to be honest. I did a lot of marbling. <laughs> and my daughter came and helped me. Um, oh, you want to see something pretty? You ready? Because I my goal was to get nice, bright colors. And this is my favorite piece. And then I tried doing dyeing an ombre. Okay, this is my ombre. And it's a little bit darker at the bottom than at the top. And all I did with this was I dipped it into the dye, then slowly pulled it up. Slowly, slowly. And that's how you get it. A little darker at the bottom. And this is, this is another salt. This is another salt dyeing. Because you can see the little, all the little speckly spots. When you put kosher salt on it, it makes that effect. It's really good when you can go in together with someone on dying because and this one this one looks like ice this one is ice dying also Okay, what is this? So some were better than others, but just because I like bright, vibrant colors. But honestly, there's a place for this in quilting too. Goodness gracious, sure. You've got to have light fabrics as well as medium and dark. And I just have three left. Oh, this is interesting. This must have been another ice dye. Anytime you see all the little tiny colors all random like that, it's usually, no, no, this is marbling. You know how I can tell? There's not much color here, but there's a lot of color there because of the way you lay the fabric on top of the shaving cream. This is marbling. All right, let's see what I've got here. Okay. But I was hoping to use a lot of these in landscape quilts. Here's my a bigger piece that I did. So, it was nice to find those too. So, anyway, I love rainbows. Love them. I am I'm a, a sucker for rainbows. So, any questions? It's probably about time for me to get going. And I'm tired. I'm not used to working this hard. <laughs> Mark went to the grocery store today. He came home, and I was in the way over there. This was probably like about 1 o'clock. And sweat just pouring down my face and he's like can I get you anything and I'm thinking a new life or resuscitation or something <laughs> but it's nice to get it done it is so nice to get it done so oh I'm glad you like it I'm glad you like it you know if I could ever if I could ever get going good enough I would love to 
have little bits to sell to people so they could just have, you know, a nice piece of hand dye. Because I tell you what, when you buy it from the professionals, it's expensive. And I understand. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a job to do. So, but I, anyway, I hope you liked it. So, <laughs> y'all are so cute. Yeah, I see a lot of people didn't make it past the, the volume sound. And I apologize that we had those problems. But you know what? Like I always tell you. You never know with a deb. This is not a professional setup. This is me doing my very best, and that's about it. So any questions that you have? Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you. It's so good seeing you guys, and thank you for the ones, for the diehards that stuck with me. I love you even more. Is there anything I can help you with or... And when I do my video on dying, I will take you step by step through, so that you will feel like you can do it too. Because there's, there's little tricks. You know how with every little, with everything, there are little tricks to kind of do it better. So, and tell my Nikki I said hello. Lady Di, I'm just tickled to see you here. I am so tickled to see you here. Yes, I was supposed to have done it this week, but I will make sure that I do the final landscape this week. I've got all my yarns and threads and everything ready. And once I get this last pile cleaned up, I'm doing the landscape. In fact, if I don't get the last pile cleaned up, I'm doing the landscape. <laughs> so, but now that the floor is down, I can clean on my own time schedule. So, the landscape's most important, and I will do that. Oh, hi, sweetie. And I'll have Kiwi next week. This week, it was just too crazy in here. But next week, I know the place will be back together, and we'll have our Kiwi. So that'll be fun to look forward to. Ah, you're ready to cut fabric. Well, I, you know what? I think that might be... Uh, send me pictures of you cutting it and I'll include it in my video that I'm going to make this week because I'm going to do a Stellaris and I'm going to do that landscape. So, sorry I got distracted with having to clean up this room, but it was so hot outside and I said, now's the time to do it and get that new floor down. Because when you have a dank, uh, damp season and you've got Mark found in the closet was 30-year-old carpet and no underlayment. So no wonder that there was, you know, a little basement funk going on in there. So it's so nice now because he put down a padded cushion waterproof underlayment. So that way everything can stay fresh. And we have a dehumidifier running in the laundry room right next door. So now everything is going to be preserved. That was my main thing. It's like, you know, let's take good care of this fabric. So I will still be going in August to the pineapple fabrics, but I just won't be buying much. But I'm still going. So what did Sonia? Let me see. Okay. So we have to, re and you know, I tell you what, I might need Sonia to stay live on this computer <laughs> while I cut it out. And I gotta figure out how I am from Sonia because her 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 studio her sewing room is so peaceful. I might have have to make a trip down to Miss Sonia and cut out my Jenny Byer fabric with her because she's already done hers and it looks beautiful. So yay! But can you imagine? Oh, Sonia and I would have a lovely day. She'll be glad when I leave too. I'm sure. <laughs> Because you can tell she probably has a very nice and peaceful, well-run house. Not like me. <laughs> oh, did I tell you? Did I tell y'all yet that about the snake that went up under the house? So I had a snake, uh, but I might have. It might have been before last week. But I'm hoping Mark found some. We need to get him out from under the house. So Mark went looking today to get some mothballs. So. Start with just one step and work through it. Good. 
Oh, good, Akka. So you did, you're caught up with last month so we can start this one together. Oh, that's right. I told Susan on the phone because I went to let the dogs out. You know, I had my grand dogs here and I looked down. There was a four and a half foot black racer. So that was interesting. So anyway, and it we found that there's an opening between the siding and the foundation. So we got to close that up. But anyway. Ah. Well, I, I had thought of um, I thought of doing the cutting for Jenny Beyer on the live stream, but I always make the videos, and that way people can go over and over them too. So, I, you know what? One day, Miss Sonia, I'm gonna call you up and say, "What are you doing Tuesday?" <laughs> that would be so much fun. I would love that. And I'm going to try to talk Sonia into coming to my retreat in November. That would be a lot of fun. So she'd get so tired of me. Let me tell you, we have a good time. Oh, you sweetie. Well, it has been so great to see all of you. Any questions? Oh, and I, I did ask Mark about getting the lights um, out of the camper. And then I can do the thing where I show I want to show Susan how to make your own out decorative outdoor lights. So, oh, Susan, we'd have such fun. I, Akko, I'm probably going to do them forever. I mean, I feel like that each year she does one is such a gift. I'm just going to keep doing them. I can't think of anything I want more for my birthday than one of her kits. So, are you going to, Akko? Oh, what a great idea. Yeah, just go to the dollar store and get the little plastic uh, shot glasses and they come 24 for a dollar. And I and and if you have your glue gun and a string of lights, inexpensive string of indoor Christmas, indoor outdoor Christmas lights. So I will get them to Yay. Okay, we are doing it. It's gonna be an annual thing. An annual thing. So that'll be fun. That will be so much fun. All right, you ladies. Well, you're the best. Thank you so much. I'm having hot dogs and beans for dinner and some more of that good chocolate cake I made. That was right yummy. So <laughs> y'all take the best care. And thank you for being patient with me. And when I had the little, I wondered today with this extreme heat, were we going to have problems? Because it stresses all the utilities, everything. The other day we had a, um, an afternoon where we had a brownout. And that's not something we normally have. Please. Good. Good. Okay. You've just found those little plastic shot glasses at the dollar store. But um, please let me know if you would like, if you like, if you're enjoying yourself on this. And we'll be here every Sunday. I'm like a bad habit. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> Take good care of yourselves and do something just for you. I think this week I might go to another movie, get myself a big popcorn and just sit back and in the cool dark theater and just drift away. So, oh, hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. It's so good to see you. We meet here every Sunday. We have a Yahoo group. You're welcome to join. And I will get out two videos this week, I promise. I've been doing a major room reorganization, but I'm going to do it. So, so great, Karen. I, we do this every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we would love to have you back, darling. Have a great week. Do something special just for you. Just for you. Send me your photos. I love showing them on Sunday. Okay? Send me your photos of what you're working on. Oh, well, y'all take such good care. And Karen, we hope to see you next week. If you're in California, it would be three hours earlier. So for you, it would be noon. And we will be here. Y'all take good care, everybody. Mwah! Be kind. Find someone that you think needs your kindness this week. All right. Bye-bye, guys. See ya.
Thanks for being on here, Lisa. Check out Lisa Cape on Quilts and check out Rob Appel's new Keeping It Fun. All right. Take care. Bye, you guys. Mwah. Well, Karen, we're on here for a couple hours, so we'll see you when you get settled. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miss Susan. You are the best.